Sean Brady gladly would fight Wack Ian Machado Gary if he beats Kelvin Gastelum at UFC Austin. Austin, Texas, Sean Brady has a decently sufficient task in front of him Saturday in Texas. But if things go the way he wants, plan on a callout that likely will get some attention. Brady, 15 to 1 MMA, 5 to 1 UFC, takes on former middleweight title challenger Kelvin Gastelum, 18 to 8 MMA, 12 to 8 UFC, on the main card at UFC on ESPN 52 at Moody Center in Austin, Texas. The welterweight bout will be Gastelum's first in the division since 2016 after years at 185 pounds. The fight is a close one at the betting window with Brady just a slight favorite at minus 125. He'll be looking to rebound from the first loss of his career, a second round TKO at the hands of Bel Al Muhammad in October 2022 in Abu Dhabi. He hasn't fought since then, but Gastelum keeps in line with the level of competition he's been facing, including wins over Michael Chisa and Jake Matthews before he fought Muhammad. I've prepared for the absolute best Kelvin, Brady said at Wednesday's media day. I'm not sure which one's going to show up, but I'm ready for the best of him. His first battle is going to be at the scale, which is all of our first battle. But I hope he has a good weight cut so we can get in there and put on a good fight. Gastelum won season 17 of The Ultimate Fighter at middleweight. He dropped to welterweight after that but he missed weight twice in his first five bouts at 170 pounds, including a horrendous situation in which he came in at 180 for a fight he lost to Tyrone Woodley at UFC 183. Weight hasn't been an issue for him since then, at least on paper, but he's been at 185. Back at 170, will he have issues getting down to the limit? I don't think it's going to matter because I'm going to be the best Sean Brady and I'm not going to be too worried about him," Brady said. As long as I'm the best me, which I am, it doesn't matter who's in front of me, the best or the worst Kelvin, it's going to be the same result. And if that proves to be true, Brady will plan to drop a big name on the microphone before he leaves the arena, Ian Machado Gary. I was asking for the Ian Gary fight before. Gary fights Luke at UFC 296 in December. The two were teammates at Kill Cliff in South Florida until Gary recently left. The Luke fight came about soon after, and Alan, another of his former teammates has been the most outspoken about Gary's moves so far, but Brady isn't far behind. Luke is just ahead of Gary in the UFC's welterweight rankings at number 8, Gary is 10th. But the way he left his gym family wasn't cool as far as Brady is concerned, and that would help give him some motivation if he could get a fight booked with the Irishman, who is 6-0 since he signed with the UFC. He's very talented. But I've been with the same group of guys since I started fighting, so it rubbed me the wrong way when he called out, Luke, Brady said. My teammates are like my brothers. If you're at a gym, that's your effing family, and for you to kind of do the SHT that he's been doing and then talking about training and how the guys know how good he is and he's beating everybody up in the gym, and now I see Brendan Allen was calling him out and he's starting to get some backlash. I just think that SH asterisk T's whack.